What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video, we're going to be in introducing you to our defensive uh, series here. We're going to be doing over the next couple of days. Uh, going to give you some thought processes and and different different ideas, different options for you uh, as a gamer. And, and, and more specifically, I want to kind of introduce you to a theory or thought process of playing defense, in, in which we call plays based on our, our formation or based on what the offense is doing. And that, and since we adjust our formation to the strength of the offense and thus make our defense prepare for every situation in the game. And so today's introduction video is all about a base set. What do you call in a situation where you really don't know what they're doing? What do you call in the beginning of the game? What do you call uh, in a situation where you just have no clue what to call? What is that base defense that you want to stick with, uh, you know, arguably 50% of the game, uh, you want to play this defense. Uh, you want to play it when they're uh, balanced. You want to play it when they're unbalanced. You want to play it whenever you want. You want to have a nice base defense. And we're, that's what we're giving you today. Um, and this defense comes out of the 4-3 under formation. And this playbook is actually can be found in the Miami playbook, uh, as well as, um, I believe, the also the Oakland Raiders playbook. Uh, both of those playbooks are the playbooks that I'm going to assume you have. Uh, when using this defensive scheme because of the fact that it has a couple of plays in its 4-3 under that are not found in any other 4-3 under in the game. And oddly enough, our base play is one of those plays. Um, and so therefore, guys, I, I really want you to get into this. This is uh, this is one of a couple of defensive series we're going to do. We just released um, two offensive schemes. I'll leave a link in an annotation uh, for you to check those out up in the top left of your screen. Uh, but this is the first of a couple of defensive schemes that I'm really excited to introduce to you. Uh, instead of doing an ebook, I'm just going to do these defensive schemes to kind of close out the year. And then in May and June, we're going to get into some more in-depth uh, theory. Uh, theoretical defensive schemes and how to build your own defense, how to build your own offense, and different things like that. But for right now, I want to kind of introduce you into some of the things that I've found successful. So with that being said, um, today's video is all about the base. Um, you know, how do you have that play that cannot is not great against a pass, is not great against a run, is not great against getting pressure, uh, it doesn't have great coverage. But it has a little bit of all of that in and in mixed into it, and it, it can. It's okay against everything and great against nothing. And that play that for me is the cover three buzz here in this four three under. And so that's our base. That's the play we come out in, um, you know, hundred percent of the time of the game. But we normally only run in about fifty to fifty percent of the time. Typically, the entire first drive, I will sit in the cover three buzz just because I just feel so comfortable with it. Even if I give up a touchdown on the first drive, this is a play that allows me to kind of pick and choose uh, what my uh, defense is going to be like for the rest of the game. And so the cover three buzz is what we want to select. Um, first step that I'm going to recommend is that you base align your defense. The reason we like to base align uh, with this defensive scheme is because it uh, keeps everything universal. And then if your linebacker stacks in the middle like this, I'm just going to recommend you pinch your linebackers. Uh, that just kind of keeps everything uh, nice and symmetrical for us uh, as we go through this play. And then the only other setup for this play is you want to bring your safety over the center. And then this other step is optional. You want to purple both outside linebackers. That's just recommended, uh, if, especially at the beginning of the game when you don't know exactly what your opponent's going to do. And the reason we bring the safety over the center like this is it gives us symmetrical balance to the defense and that we have five players to the right of the formation, five players to the left of the formation, and now we have someone right in the middle uh, to kind of use our control. We want to we want to be a little bit deeper than the lines that you don't have phenomenal pressure, but you certainly have decent, uh, as you can see, uh, about two to three seconds in the pocket and, and the play is over. So guys, with that being said, I want you to incorporate this defense into your base scheme. Uh, I hope that the video had no problems, but if it did, let me know in the comments, and uh, I will gladly take another look at the video and try to get you a better quality uh, video up as soon as possible. Thank you for your time today, guys. I hope that you enjoy these series. And uh, if you're new to the channel, check out that annotation up at the above. It's going to allow you to go to our channel and check out some of our more, more of our content, get you more involved, and just give you some more free stuff. Thank you for the time today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.